Welcome to this Corbin Maths video on multipliers. In this video we're going to look at how to use a multiplier to find a percentage of an amount and also how to use a multiplier to increase by a percentage or decrease by a percentage. So let's start off by using a multiplier to find a percentage of an amount. So I'm going to start off with finding 25% of 60. So to find 25% of 60, well you could just half it and half it again or divide by 4. So dividing it by 4 would give us 15 because 60 divided by 4 is 15. So that means that 25% of 60 is equal to 15. Another way to do it though is to use a multiplier and particularly whenever the percentages aren't as nice as 25% multipliers can be really useful especially if you've got a calculator handy as well. So to use a multiplier what we're going to do is change the percentage into a decimal. So 25% is the same as 0.25 and if you times 60 by 0.25 or you write 0.25 times 60 or do 60 times 0.25 that will tell you 25% of 60. So if you get your calculator and if you type in either 60 times 0.25 or 0.25 times 60, both of those should give you the answer of 15. So to find a percentage of an amount using a multiplier, you just change the percentage into a decimal and multiply the number you're finding the percentage of by that amount, by that decimal. So let's have a look at another question now. So we're going to find 70% of 800. So to find 70% of 800, we just need to change our 70% into a decimal. So 70% is equal to 0.7. So we just need to do 800 times by 0.7. So if we do that, if we write 800 times by 0.7, we're going to get our answer of 560. Right, so our next question says find 3% of 700. So to do that, we're going to change our 3% to a decimal number. So to change that to decimal number, remember, just divide the 3 by 100. So that's going to be 0.03 as a decimal. So 3% as a decimal is 0.03. And if you just times 700 by 0.03, we'll find what 3% of 700 is. So when we do that, we get 700 times by 0.03 plus equals is equal to 21. So our answer is equal to 21. Right, our next question. Our next question is to find 56% of 30. So again, we're going to need to change our 56% to a decimal number. So 56 divided by 100 would be 0.56. So 56% is a decimal is 0.56 and then times by 30. So if we do 30 times by 0.56, we get 16.8. And that's quite a nice one to show you that on a calculator, if you use a multiplier, it's just really quick and simple. Whereas if you were to find 50%, 5%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1% and add them all up, that would just take you a bit longer than just using the multiplier on your calculator. So we've looked at how to use a multiplier to find a percentage of an amount. Now let's look at how to use a multiplier to increase by a percentage. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to increase 60 by 25%. So if you're doing this using just pen and paper, you'd find 25% first of all. So you do 60 divided by 4, which is equal to 15. And then you would take your 60 and add on your 15, which you're increasing. And then that would tell you that your answer would be 75. Another way to do that is to think, what would you get if you increased by 25%? So if you start off with 100% and you increase by 25%, you would have a 100% plus 25% would be equal to 125%. And if you change that 125% to a decimal number, so that would be divided by 100, 1 1.25. If you multiply 60 by 1.25, you will get your answer straight away. So if you do 60 times by 1.25 on your calculator, you would get 75 as well. So rather than finding the 25% and adding it on and getting your answer, you could just change, well, if it's an increase by 25%, you say, well, that's going to be 125%, and then you use 1.25 as your multiplier. Let's look at what, uh, some, what some multipliers would be for other increases. Okay, so let's look at this first one. So if we were to increase by 40%, what would the multiplier be? So if we start off with 100%, if we increase by 40, that would become 140%. And 140% as a decimal would be 1.40 or 1.4. So if you multiply by 1.40 or 1.4, they would be the same as an increase by 40%. Our next one, increasing by 75%. So if we start off with 100%, if we add 75%, that would be 175%. So as a decimal, that would be 1.75. So that would be our multiplier. If we increase by 8%, so 100% plus 8% is 108% times uh, as a decimal number, that would be 1.08. So we'd multiply by 1.08. And finally, an increase of 1.5%. So if we had 100% and we add 1.5%, that would be 101.5%. And as a decimal, that would be 1.015. 
So if you multiply by these uh, multipliers, you can increase by 40%, 75%, 8%, 1.5% really quickly and easily on a calculator. So let's have a look at a question now. So our question says increase 750 by 4%. So if we add 100% and we increase it by 4%, that'd be 104%. So that would be as a multiplier 1.04. So we now just need to multiply 750 by 1.04. And when we do 750 multiplied by 1.04, we get an answer of 780. So if we increase 750 by 4%, the answer is 780. Okay, our next question. Now we're going to look at decreasing by a percentage using a multiplier. So our question here says decrease 300 by 20%. So 10% would be equal to 30, 20% would be equal to 60, and if we decreased it, we'd get 300, take away 60, which would be equal to 240. But wouldn't it be great if we could use a multiplier to do that really quickly and simply? So if we're decreasing by a 20, well, if we have 100% to begin with, and we decrease by 20%, that would leave us with 80%. So 80% as a decimal number would be 0 0.80 or 0 0.8. So if we multiply 300 by 0 0.80 or 0 0.8, we will find straight away what the answer would be. So if we do 300 multiplied by 0 0.8, we get an answer of 240. So let's look at some multipliers now for decreasing by a percentage. So if we were to decrease by 25%, what would our multiplier be? Well, if we had 100% and we decrease by 25%, that would leave us with 75%. So as a multiplier, 0.75. Decreasing by 3%, so if you had 100% and you decrease by 3%, that would leave you with 97%, so it would be multiplied by 0.97. If you wanted to decrease by 84%, well, 100%, take away 84%, would leave you with just 16%, so it would be multiplied by 0.16. And to decrease by 2.5%, well, if you had 100% and you took away 2.5%, that would leave you with 97.5%, so as a decimal, that would be 0.975. And let's look at our last example now. So our last example, we're going to use a multiplier to decrease by a percentage. We're going to decrease 32,400 by 9%. So if you decrease by 9%, you're left with 91%. So your multiplier would be 0.91. So if we multiply 32,400 by 0.91, we will find our answer straight away. So if we do 32,400 times by 0.91, we get an answer of 29,484. And that's much quicker and simpler than having to find what 10% is, 1%, and then get your 9%, and then subtracting and working all that out. If you've got a calculator, you can just quickly and simply work out your um, increase or decrease straight away or your percentage of an amount. And that's it.